Hi, I'm Terry Ryan. I'm a platform evangelist for Adobe. And I'm going to talk to you today about some of the enhancements to PDF uh, manipulation we've added to Cold Fusion 9. Now, Cold Fusion's been able to do a lot of manipulation of PDF from now, from creation to modifying, but we've added an exciting new feature, which is extraction. So you can now extract content from a PDF using Cold Fusion 9. I have here uh, just a simple PDF, um, nothing too crazy. I'm going to fire it up, open it, look at it. And you see we've got Cold Fusion 9, Cold Fusion Rocks, and an image of uh, the new Cold Fusion 9 uh, mnemonic uh, image icon. And then down on the second page, we have Cold Fusion uh, Builder, and we're pointing out that this too rocks. So here's a PDF, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm now going to switch over to Cold Fusion Builder, and I've got some code uh, that will take the content out. So the first thing I want to do is take the text content out. I want to see the actual text of the PDF. So you see here I have CF. CF PDF, um, action equals extract text. Um, I point it at that PDF uh, and then give it a name. Now that's going to come back with uh, XML content that I, in order to display, then have to run it through XML parse and then dump it out uh, to, uh, to the uh, browser. So we're going to fire that up. We'll go to their file system. And you'll see here I have that extract code. I'm going to fire it off and you'll see there's uh, my document in uh, an XML format. Now I'm going to uh, punches up so it's a little bit easier to see. So you see here we have um, the uh, doc text, XML text, text per page, and you see each one of those pages is split up into its own XML construct. So I can now loop through, basically do all of the kind of uh, collection parsing that I can do with Cold Fusion 9 and XML right on this uh, PDF now. So that is getting text out of uh, PDFs, which is cool. Um, we actually go one step further. There's those images in there that were the, the, new, uh, the new icons for Cold Fusion. So I go over to this page, which is Extract Images. And you'll see, instead of Extract Text, I have Extract Image. Um, I want to dump it out to a PNG file. If they already exist, it's, I, I want them to overwrite. That's fine. You'll see I, I point it at the PDF just like I did in Extract Text. Uh, but now for destination, I actually set a folder where I want all of those pictures to go. So when that's done, uh, I'm going to call up that code and hit Extract Images. And there's no UI, so you don't see anything. But now when I go back to CF Builder and refresh this folder, you'll see that I've got two images. I've got CF Image 0 uh, and CF Image uh, 1. And if I open that up, you'll see that's the Cold Fusion mnemonic pulled out, and that's uh, Cold Fusion Builder's mnemonic pulled out. Um, now I have a lot of options with this. I can go through, I can set my own prefixes so it's not CF image, it's something else. Um, I can set the format, I can pump it out to JPEG if I want. Um, but basically I have a lot of control over how I deal with the images that come out of these PDFs. So if you like this uh, feature of Cold Fusion 9, why don't you go to the Cold Fusion site at Adobe um, and find out more about the new features of Cold Fusion 9.